speaking of foods that can cause you harm, a chili pepper that could kill, this new fiery food is so strong it can send you into anaphylactic shock. This is a chili. You know, you know these chilies all have good names, right, Tamara? You've Always. heard of some of them. The ghost pepper, mm -hmm. the um, Carolina, Carolina Reaper. Oh, see, I, is don't, a good I one. don't have as many good names for these. Things. This chili is called Dragon's Breath. It was developed by Welsh, Welsh chef Mike Smith. Um, so here is the interesting story behind this. The chef developed a new world's hottest chili pepper and it's so fiery it can kill you. This pepper was actually developed not to be used in food, but to be used in medical treatment as an anesthetic. And believe it or not, the spicy oils that are found inside some very hot chilies are so potent that they can numb the skin. Oh my goodness. So it's pretty interesting. Um, this guy, Mike Smith, has been growing chilies and vegetables for the last seven years. This new chili is actually just this small. It's very tiny bright kind of red orangey color and it registers more than 2.48 million on the Scoville scale. Now if you're not familiar with what that is, spicy foods are rated on a specific scale um, and this is actually so spicy that it could cause anaphylactic shock, burning your airwaves and closing them up. Okay, so just an idea of how much more potent this is. Um, pepper spray is 2 million on the Scoville scale, Tamara. While this pepper is 2.48 million, stronger than pepper spray, and it has never been tried orally. No one has ever See, eaten it. You got me when you said it passed the threshold of hot and pain into numb. I feel like that's how we know that this is something serious. Like, when you could use this as something to do the exact opposite of what you would usually think of spicy food for that's how you know you've gone to a totally different level and that is actually terrifying and what worries me the most is where he's growing this because i'm all i'm thinking about is the animals that are coming out of nowhere they're like mm, what's this what is this eating it and chili? then dying like immediately like on demand or going somewhere else and then doing it like that's nuts so believe it or not this project you know this guy is obviously a, a professional hobbyist, if you will, pepper grower. And he partnered with a university, Nottingham Trent University, um, to develop this in partnership for medicinal use. But the most interesting thing about this is it's actually so potent that it has to be kept in its own specially sealed container. All right, well that's so, good. So yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. No human uh -huh. has ever eaten this, this pepper. The guy who created it put a drop of it on his tongue for a second and said it was excruciatingly painful. That's like really sacrificing yourself. Like I don't I mean, think I could do that. This guy is clearly into spicy foods. Yeah, no, I don't think I could do that. I, I'm just having like flashbacks to that one like viral video of the two girls that are doing like. Oh yeah. They're eating something and then it goes horribly wrong that's, where that, like the girl the ends up Reaper, in like her right? bed and she's like having like an asthma attack and like her mom's like call like, an ambulance. Aren't they like pouring milk on them? Or yeah, something? it's so wrong. It's so it's the worst video, but it's the funniest video. It's one of my favorite videos, one actually. One of Tamara's favorite videos. <laughs> anyway, folks, so if you have the opportunity, uh, these peppers are actually going to be on display if you live in the United Kingdom at the Chelsea Flower, Flower Show between May 23rd and 27th, so you can go check it out there. Don't touch Just it. Just don't eat it. 